Hey guys, I have been meaning to do this video for a really, really long time. Um, this is going to be on the Victoria's Secret Mist Collection, and I am just going to show you my top three because I think I own every single fragrance from that collection. Not even joking, I'm pretty sure I do. So I had to narrow it down to my top three that are in the normal rotation, meaning I wanted to pick three that were not limited edition, that were in part of their permanent collection. So that was kind of hard for me to do, but um, I narrowed it down to my top three, and I'd have to say in no particular order that this has been one of my all-time favorites since it came out, and this is the Love Attic. And this is just one of my absolute favorites. Um, I do have my iPad here as well, so I can give you a proper description straight from the Victoria's Secret website. So let me just pull this one up. And basically the only thing it says for notes online for the Love Addict is Wild Orchid Blood Orange. That's basically it on this one. But I have done a separate review on just this one. And to me, this is the one that I get cotton candy from. I don't know where I get cotton candy from. Don't know why. But I get cotton candy from here. So I really, really like this one. It's light. It's playful. And I hope they keep this one around for a really, really long time. This one is probably my number one if I had to only pick one um, it would probably be the love addict again this is just a really light girly fruity candy cotton candy type of fragrance so love this one um, another one that I absolutely love and this is called rush so here's the bottle on that one and the blue is really, really pretty as well. It's just a appealing kind of a romantic bottle. And on their website for Rush, this one says Juicy Clementine and Crystal Amber. So this one is kind of a little hard to describe just because I find that online with the Miss Collections, when you're sitting here reading the notes, a lot of times they just don't make very much sense because when I think of clementine I think of like a really kind of a fruity bursty either citrus or orangey type of scent and this is neither this one is basically I would put this in the same category almost as like the heavenly collection not that it smells anything like it do not get me wrong this does have fruitiness to it just not orange, but there's something about it that is very romantic and smooth and kind of almost creamy. I think that comes just from the amber. So if you're familiar with the amber notes, how it kind of smooths everything out and gives it that kind of creaminess like the Heavenly Fragrance, that would be the Rush. And I haven't really smelled many other fragrances that smell like this one. So this is kind of unique in my opinion. So that's why this one is definitely in my top three. And the third one, which I have mentioned this before when I did the Temptation Unwrapped video, but I love the original Temptation. This one is just, this one is just so unique to me. This one reminds me of just getting ready to go out. Like it reminds me of lipstick and makeup and the cosmetics bags. And you know how like everything has a fragrance. And if you were like in a dressing room or something, it's just like all those little scents combined. This is Temptation. Online, this is described as fresh apple and warm flowers. So again I can smell the apple in this so this is the only one out of all of them that the description is somewhat accurate on that so you do get the fresh apple mixed with girly things like lipstick and 
like cosmetic products. And again, I know that sounds so weird to say, but any of you guys that obviously wear lipstick, you know that if you smell a lipstick, lipsticks always have different scents to them. So some of them are more vanilla, some of them are more perfumey, some of them are just um, like a generic type of scent, but that's what this smells like. This smells like you're just going and you're hanging out with the girls and you're just, you're, you're getting ready and you're doing your hair and your makeup and the bathroom just smells wonderful from all of the different products that you're using, whether it's like a hairspray or your bubble bath. This is just a nice little combination of all that. So um, that's why I think this one is extremely unique and I can see why they kept this one around. So again, here is my top three from the Miss Collection. And I just have to throw in there that I really hate that they changed the name because the Mist Collection sounds so just blah and boring where before they used to call it the Secret Garden and it had really cool names. I can't remember what they called it before that, but I know it had a couple of really cool names and then they just decided to like slack and say, hey, let's just call it the Mist Collection. So. I think Victoria's Secret needs to fix that. Give us something really like sexy or girly or fun, mysterious, tropical, but the Miss Collection is just kind of a crappy name for collection from Victoria's Secret, in my opinion. So again, one last time, my top three from that collection is Love Addict, which is, to me, light, fruity, cotton candy, and Temptation, just getting ready for a night out with all kind of products combined into one. This is like walking into Victoria's Secret and people have just sprayed so much stuff and you say, oh, it smells so good in here. This is that. This to me is just a combination of all kind of scents rolled into one. And last but not least is the Rush, which is the most romantic out of the three. It's just very kind of cozy and comfortable, yet it's really extremely alluring. So those are my three picks. So let me know in the comments below if you do use anything from the Miss Collection and what are your top three. And I will see you guys all again soon.